here at the official Wayne for the AJ Benella Fell Conception WBA Super Flyweight World Title Fight. We're here with a Vice President, none other than Eric Gomez of Golden Boy Promotions. Eric, let's describe the atmosphere here at the Wayne. Gee, they're passionate the Filipino people, aren't they? Yeah, no, it's great. And, and I've been out here five times now to the Philippines, and they have some of the best fans in the world. It's incredible. I mean, they really support their boxers. And, you know, they're fans of not only their boxers, the Filipino boxers, but of boxing in general. And they'll root on, they'll, they'll root for the, for the, for the uh, opponents as well. So it's great out here. We had a great dinner last night at Antonio Aldegue's place. Isn't it palatial and magnificent? Yes, it is. It's, it's a palace uh, here in the Philippines. And he's a, he's a great man. He's done a lot for boxing here in the Philippines. And a uh, very nice person. And, yes, it was a great dinner. When do you go back to uh, Los Angeles? Eric? I leave uh, the day after the fight on Sunday. So uh, Sunday I leave and uh, I get to Los Angeles on Sunday. You, you gain a day, so I'll be there on Sunday. Okay, now let's go over Oscar De La Hoya. Have you spoken to him since you've been here in the Philippines? Um, he, as far as Oscar coming here to the Philippines, yeah. No, have you well, spoken to Oscar today? Yes, or yes, I actually spoke to him this morning. I spoke to him this morning and he's uh, vacationing... Uh, with his family right now and the Caribbean and uh, so he's out there vacation and we spoke a little bit and uh, everything's doing uh, it's great with him. Now what's Oscar's plans? Has he got one more fight left or do you think he have a few more fights? One more. As, as, of, as of right now he's got his mindset he says he's got one more fight and he's gonna stick to the plan that's one more fight and then he's gonna hang it up. You're known Oscar, how long have you guys grew up together as kids? Yes, yes, since we were five years old. Now, Oscar growing up, winning a gold medal, doing everything, he, he, it just must be whatever he does turns to gold. He, he, is there anything he's not good at? Uh, you know, he's a very competitive person. He loves sports, and he's, he's pretty good at a, different, you know, a lot of different sports. He play basketball, he loves uh, playing pool, billiards, and obviously golf. I mean, he's a big golf fan, and uh, so he's uh, good at a lot of different sports. Say a downtime day of Oscar, it's a Sunday, you and Oscar get together and you've got the whole day to do whatever you do, what would you do? Golf, 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 golf. <laughs> Who wins your Oscar? Uh, he beats me, he beats me, but you know, I'll get my share of wins once in a while, but he beats me, he's a great athlete. He is a great athlete and Eric, you've done proud for the Golden Boy promotions, mate, you're a great vice president and what a man to be president to and Oscar De La Hoya, it doesn't get bigger than that and you've also got Bernard Hopkins and, and Mosley and a lot of established people behind that Golden Boy Promotions, I'm sure it's going to be a prominent force for many, many decades. Thank you, we do our best, we work hard and you know when Oscar first started you know doing promotions, his, his entire outlook or his plan was look, I want to, I want to work for the fighters. I've had a lot of hard times in my career. I had a lot of obstacles, I ran into a lot of problems. If I can, you know, help a fighter out so that he can avoid some of these problems or some of these pitfalls that I ran into, that's what I want to do. I want to give back. See, that's the difference between our promotional company and a lot of other promotional companies. Oscar doesn't have to do this for a living. He's blessed. He's done great for himself. He's doing this because he wants to give back voluntarily. He wants to give back to boxing, he wants to give other fighters opportunities, that's the reason why he's doing this. It's not because he's trying to make a living out of it. That's fantastic. Just before we sign you off, Eric, Australian boxing, um, you guys have been involved with Billy Dibb, uh, Michael Katsidis. Are there any other Australians that you've got your eye on? No, at this time we're concentrating on them too. Um, we've had some conversations, there's a couple of other kids out there that, that are you know that just starting off uh, Brendan Smith our partner with Michael Katsidis he's got some other kids he's talked to us about but right now we're concentrating on those two kids Billy Dibb is a great talent uh, obviously he's still he's still learning his craft and he's just starting to break out of, uh, uh, of his shell and start competing at a higher level so you know we're looking for big things in the near future from Billy Dibb I think he's a fighter too away from a world title fight that's the kind of fighter he is, the caliber of fighter he is, and that's what we're trying to do with him. We're trying to give him an opportunity for a world title very soon in the near future. So we, we have high hopes for Billy Dibb. And Katsidis, obviously, he's established already, former world champion. 
we'll be seeing him in a world title fight coming up soon. He's all action, Kat Cedis. And let me tell you, Eric, it'd be great to have you out to Australia, mate, because it's still under a bit of an untapped market. There's a couple of good fighters out there that, yes. given an opportunity, they could become the next Jeff Fennick or Costa Zoo. Yes, no, obviously. And, uh, you know, uh, I've never been to Australia. I'm looking forward to sometime in the near future going out there. And uh, I'm sure there's a lot of talent down there. And, you know, I, I know because some of the people I work with here in the Philippines, they tell me of the different fighters out there and some of the shows they do out there. So uh, in the near future, we'll start expanding and going out there. And if uh, we can pick up a couple of more kids, you know, we'll, we'll do that. Thank you for your time, Eric, and enjoy the, uh, the wine. Thank you, Peter. Thank you very much. Got the judges here as well. I'll be officiating and the officials for the world title fight. Got the gloves here too. Yeah, Rays, eight ounce Rays here, and we also got Twin Special. So two brands of gloves being inspected here for the uh, for the fights. Um, we got the world title gloves here from Bennell Conception. So they'll be using Rays. Whether Bennell uses the black or the red, it doesn't matter. Eight ounce Rays, and Michael. So we got Twin Special and Rays here on offer. The boys are all looking good. Also, we got the boxers ready to weigh in. We can have a look at them. They're all getting fit. Eldor Velamo, the head trainer there at ALR Gym, he's ready. Um, Rafael Conception, he's here. He's ready. Eric Gomez doing another interview. Michael Aldegare, the promoter. Got the gurus. He's Samson Lakilowicz, one of the, the best matchmaker now in the world. And Ronnie Nathalowicz, Mr. Boxing here in the Philippines. Rocco, so it's a bit of a bit of a festival atmosphere. We'll, uh, Ronnie's talking, so we'll stop for the moment. Weighing in, just about to see what he's going to weigh. Rafael, Rafael looking very fit and drawn. We just saw Conception one pound over. He's got two hours to lose it. Controversial. Bernal's has got the cross around his neck, so he's, he's got no problems with his weight whatsoever. Touching the scales, as we see. He knows he's on the money, Bernal. Oh, controversial here. Taking the cross off now, trying to lose that extra bit of weight. He's on the money. On the money. Ronnie Nathalowicz calling out, don't move, just give him a chance. Ronnie wants to see an even playing field here tonight. The skull is moving, so he's got two hours to lose a pound. Both boys shaping up here. It's a bit of tension. Oh, there's a bit of tension here. He's East Saint Panama. Both boys shaping up. Now's got a bit of a smile. Panama. 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 Panama.